Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. This is the second part of a two-part video on the structure and function of starch. In the last video we saw that in plant cells glucose is stored as starch and we find starch in starch grains. Starch consists of two different polysaccharides. These are called amylose and amylopectin. We saw that amylose is an unbranched polymer of alpha glucose joined by 1,4 glycosidic bonds. We also saw that amylose forms a helix which is held in place by hydrogen bonds between glucose molecules and this helical shape helps to make starch a very compact molecule. Now in this video we're looking at the structure of the polysaccharide amylopectin. I'm showing you the structure of a small section of amylopectin here. Just like amylose, amylopectin is a polymer of alpha glucose joined by 1,4 glycosidic bonds. However, unlike amylose, amylopectin chains have a branch every 25 to 30 glucose molecules. And I'm showing you a branch here. A branch is simply another chain of alpha glucose molecules joined by 1,4 glycosidic bonds. The branch is connected to the main chain by a glycosidic bond, but in this case, the glycosidic bond is between carbon 1 of one of the alpha glucose molecules and carbon 6 of the other alpha glucose molecule. So we call this a 1,6 glycosidic bond. I'm showing you a simplified structure of amylopectin here, and as you can see, it's a heavily branched molecule. This makes amylopectin different to amylose, which is an unbranched polysaccharide. Coming up, we're going to see how the structure of starch is related to its function. Okay, now in the exam, you could be asked to describe how the structure of starch is related to its function. As we saw before, amylose forms a tight helix, and this makes starch compact. In other words, starch can store a large amount of glucose molecules for its size. Starch is also insoluble in water. This means that starch does not cause water to enter the cell by osmosis. And because amylose and amylopectin are polymers, they're too large to diffuse through the cell membrane and pass out of the cell. Now when the cell needs glucose, enzymes are used to break the glycosidic bonds in starch. This is a hydrolysis reaction and requires water. The enzymes that break down starch act at the ends of the molecules. Because amylopectin has a large number of branches, this means it's got a large number of ends. And because of this, the enzymes can break down starch rapidly. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the structure of starch and relate this to its role in plant cells. Mm -hmm. 